Hi, good afternoon. David Moore, Dallas Morning News. Uh, your players, a lot of your players have talked about just what San Francisco had done to them in the playoffs the last couple of years and looking forward to this game. With, with that in mind, what is your message to them this week? Do you lean in on that since it's already there? Do you try to balance it or how do you um, I think it's like anything. You always want to be in balance. You know, I mean, it's obviously – it's an important game. You know, you understand the history. I um, mean, there's obviously a lot of tradition uh, with this, with this, with this game. So, I mean, it, it's all part of it. Uh, you live, you live, you know, you live to play in these kind of games. Uh, you dream about these kind of games. So, you don't want to make it bigger than it is. Uh, but you know, it's it's just not. It's just you know, the reality is it's not just another game. Can you? So, I mean, you. In some ways, just foster that, or just let that environment be there, because it's kind of their self motivation a lot too. Or? Well, yeah, I think the, you know self motivation going into you know yesterday's contest was there, especially you know after the week we had. So, important thing is for us to learn, you know, which uh, we took this morning uh, to go through it. You know, there's there's a number of things we can improve on from yesterday's game. Um, Watching their tape uh, here this afternoon and, and getting into it. I mean, they're, they're playing very well. I've, I've been very impressed so far for what I've seen. So just just keep your eye on the target. Clarence, Hill, Force, Star Telegram. How much did the changes in the off season have to do with the loss to 49ers last year? How much did that loss impact some decisions that were made in the off season? Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't look at it that way. I mean, I, I know timing may reflect that, uh, but not, you know, I, I don't I don't think it's you know, I just like anything. When you when you make change internally, in my experiences, I mean, it's it's about going in a direction that you feel can better serve you. Uh, like Todd Archer with, with ESPN, uh, did you get any injury news from your uh, athletic trainers yet with Rico and Zach? Yeah, uh, they're both. Uh, you know, they're both going to be in a rehab group Wednesday, so uh, they definitely both have a chance to play. Saad. Uh, my, I'm, I'm sure when players come in, you have certain expectations, especially maybe rookies. When Deron Bland came in as a fifth round pick, uh, what did you expect uh, maybe his early career would look like and how is it kind of you know, measured up in that you way? Know, I go back to you know, Deron when he came in here on his 30 visit. You know, he, he was, uh, I mean, just had, just had a great visit. And, you know, and then obviously we get to see these guys in person and, you know, in his video, and it's, you know, I can remember talking to Will McClay about us. You know, well, why why is he not ranked higher? You know, so, I mean, there's a lot there. And then they, to get him where we got him, we were obviously thrilled. Um, so, you know, so as far as his expectation, I'll just say this, I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm not, not surprised because, you know, he's uh, extremely consistent in everything he does. You know, very high in instincts, awareness, the ball skills, and, and so forth. And he's played both inside and outside, so. I mean, he's off to a hell of a start. When you when you look at his uh, play, well, I guess the first one yesterday, um, he mentioned to us that you know Mac Jones had gone to that side and come across and completed a pass, and he didn't want to let that happen again. Um, how much of that is just kind of like learning on the fly and, and you know identifying those situations that you know a quarterback might do that again? Well, I mean, that, that's that's you know I, I think it's all part of development, and when you look at young players, but you know we talk a lot about the ebb and flow of the game, things that happen. Things that are built off of it, um, and you know, I think clearly, you know, from a quarterback's perspective, I mean, that's a dangerous throw, and and then having the opportunity to, you know, to, to jump on the second time, I think you obviously you've seen the result, but you know, I, I think it just speaks to his instincts and awareness. Nick, Nick Harris, Dallas Cowboy dot com. Um, now at the four week mark, is there any update on that? Well, let's go, Nick Sean Wright. Both doing well. Uh, don't have anything to give you as far as you know a plan for this week, but. Uh, just seeing both guys in a, in, a, in a weight room and you know, seeing them in there every day. So they're they're doing everything. They look good, getting close. Jess. Jess Morris, Pro Football Network coach. Can you talk about Hunter Lipke and really the strides that he has continued to take? And what were some of your first impressions of him, and how has he continued to look? Ah, uh, first impression really when camp is just you know he was young, um, and just you know needed to. Needed opportunities, uh, so I mean, I, I, you know, he's doing a lot of good things on offense. Obviously, he had his first first touchdown, but he's doing a really nice job on special teams too. So um, he's he's doing a really good job of fulfilling his role each and every week. Mike, Michael Galkin, Dallas Fire News. In all three of your wins, no 
turnovers on offense, and in all three of those games, there was a fumble that was recovered uh, with the uh, you just said technique of covering and finishing. What can you maybe just describe McEwen in, in that play, what you saw from him, and overall what we're seeing from your offense? I mean, it's an excellent play. You know, you just you know, it's just like anything in this game. If you just keep running, good things happen. So, I mean, his his you know his cover, particularly you know their pursuit was right there too. I think they had they had five jerseys around the ball. So, you know, excellent, excellent heads up play by Sean. Uh, like you said, we've had three balls on the ground um, in these zero give games, and all three have been recovered. So, obviously, you know what our focus is is you know we got to protect the football because uh, they actually they, they you know they were able to knock it out twice you know that was the one they had the one on the sideline too same guy but um you know that's that's why you work the fundamentals you know we're getting ready to play defense a vision defense that does a you know exceptional job also taking the ball away so and i think both teams uh, do the same and they do a good job taking care of it so this will be a, a great challenge for us this week is that technique something that you've coached throughout your career or is that um is there an origin to oh, ball security? Yeah, I've, I, I, I go back to Marty Schottenheimer. I mean, Marty shot. I mean, Marty, it didn't matter who you were, you know, um, you know, how many Super Bowls you won, or I mean, it just he, he was just so adamant about, you know, taking care of the football. And then on the flip side of it, you know, Derek Thomas is the first guy I really seen come around the corner and, you know, with the chop. So, um, but yeah, I. The emphasis of it definitely the origin is Kansas City back in the early 90s. Calvin. Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. A month into the season, how would you assess how you've handled the reps with Tony and Rico and, and Vaughn and those guys? Um, I, I think we're, we're, we're getting to a, you know, a, a better flow. Yesterday was a better flow. So, you know, we've, we had some games that were out of balance, you know, uh, the first two. So, uh, I think we're clearly getting a we're getting, you know, the, the packages and the rotation right. You know, and obviously when Rico had the injury yesterday, then we got we got Hunter involved. So, um, yeah, I like the way it's going. I'm telling you, like Malik, he's a practice squad guy, and mm -hmm. you've seen what he can do in camp. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm high on Malik. I mean, I I love his run style. You know, his ability. I mean, he's you know, I mean, he's uh, his ability to make people miss in the hole. I, I mean, we we saw that last year and his opportunity. So he's doing great. He's doing great. Todd. Uh, Mike, you talked a little bit about the, the rivalry between these two franchises. You've seen it from both sides. Mm -hmm. What what stands out about it? Is it? Well, I, I just think like any, anything, when you, you have an opportunity to work for an organization that has great tradition, that has, you know, Super Bowls, Super Bowl trophies in the lobby. Um, you know, there's there's always a path, you know, in the NFC that goes through Dallas or goes through, you know, goes through San Francisco. So, I mean, I, I think those things are, you know, which it's part of what makes this sport so great. I mean, you know, you, in the respect that you, you know, I feel you need to have for the history and the tradition of the Dallas Cowboys. So, but at the end of the day, like I said earlier, I don't want to make this game bigger than it is. I mean, I, I'm sure they're excited to play. We're, we're excited to get up there on Sunday night and, and compete. And, but, you know, right now we need to keep around a tar target and we need to have a, you know, we need to have a better preparation week this week we had last week. You know, we, you know, offensively we had our highest number of, of missed assignments. So, like I said, we got work to do. So we need to just keep playing our own house and staying on top of it. Sorry. Mike, on your understanding that three out of the four games have gotten kind of out of hand and, and some on the scoreboard, just how do you evaluate Dak's first month of the season? And um, obviously the interceptions were the talking point coming into the season. He's kept that down. How do you evaluate his total game so far? Oh, I think he's playing very well. I mean, he's, the ball distribution is is what it's supposed to look like. You look at the numbers of how the ball's being moved around. So, I mean, it's just like anything. I, you know, each week's a different challenge. You know, and you know we've had some moving parts in the offensive line. You know, so he hasn't let that affect him. I mean, he's he has great confidence in all his teammates. I think that's a a needed trait uh, for a quarterback in this league. Uh, just to you know, trust the five guys in front of you, and uh, you know, trust the things we're doing. So, uh, but yeah, I, I think he's, I think, I think he's had a really good first quarter. How's he been able to keep the interceptions down the way that he has? I mean, just you know, decision, ball accuracy. You know, I think you know the connection. We when we got work to do there too. The connection we have with the perimeter. You know, the extra work. So, you know, it's just playing better together. Patrick, 
Hey, Mike. Patrick Walker, DallasCowboys.com. You guys went last week from having thir 13 enforced penalties for over 100 yards to only having five enforced against the Patriots for roughly 32 yards, which was much more in line with what you guys were doing in week one and week two. Was there added emphasis on that uh, this past week in the meeting rooms, or was it more so you trust the players knew how to get Yeah, a little more. Yeah, a little more emphasis in, in, a, in a team meeting. Uh, but we, you know, we have what we call uh, penalty prevention, you know, uh, video education each and every week. So just spent a little bit more time on it last week to emphasize it. And then, you know, I thought the players did a, an excellent job responding. Clarence. Did, did Michael come out of the game in the field and miss some plays with something or nothing like that? He'll, he'll yeah, he, I, he had, he had a, knee, a knee and an ankle both looked at. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not of high concern with it. And he won't practice Wednesday? Uh, as of right now, he might be limited. So. We haven't finalized it yet. It is, it is Monday. So, is that okay? Yeah, I was We hadn't asked you about Michael, so I know yeah, you had no, no. Yeah, Mike. Uh, Dak, I know it doesn't really matter inside the game, but uh, you haven't made him an offensive captain yet. I was just curious what uh, some of the thinking would you wait for that? No. My God. I'm, I'm dumbfounded. That's uh, that's that's very observant on your part. So he'll get a chance. I can promise you that. Yeah. <laughs> David, Mike, uh, from from what you saw the the rehab last week, where Tyron Smith was, are you fairly encouraged? He's on a path that it gives him a pretty good chance to play this week in this game. Or? You won't know till Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah, I know today uh, when we talked about him, he'll he'll probably work with the. Rehab group may be limited, but uh, he, he's doing much better. Aish. Aish Morrison, DallasCowboys.com. Coach, I think it's easy for us to get, I don't know, kind of normalized to the fact that Tyler Smith is able to play left guard, play left tackle, be so flexible. Can you speak on just how impressive that is for a second-year player to be able to do that at this high level this frequently? Well, I mean, he, he does some things physically that you just, you know, you shake your head. I mean, he, you know, his ability, uh, I mean, his balance is, is to me, is uh, very unique uh, for his skill set. So, uh, but yes, I, I think his ability to play both positions, you know, I, I, we're probably fortunate on the way his path went, you know, where he started with one and ended up with the other. So, um, but yeah, he's he, he's off to a great start. He's going he's gonna to be a a top-notch player in this league for a long time. Joe. Uh, Joe Hoy, Lone Star Live. Um, same personnel almost across the board for the 49ers, aside from Javon Hargrave, new defensive coordinator, though. Have any differences jumped out to you, you know, with Steve Wilkes? Right yeah, now? I'm not totally that far along to give you, uh, but, you know, from what I've just seen from the game tape so far, there's a, a tremendous amount of carryover from last year. Nick. When Bones brought you the proposal to do the fake PAT, yeah. uh, what's kind of your thought press process behind it? Do you trust him completely, or are you like, let's take oh, a look no, at this he, together? We got to look at it in practice. Yeah, I mean it's uh, so, and he, he does a great job of you know finding extra time to you know to get it repped. So, and it was it, it was it was clean in practice. Um, so both Friday and Saturday, and you know it was very well executed. So we 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 you know we're anticipating a certain alignment and look and. You know, and we saw it on the first, you know, on the first one, on the first field goal. So, but uh, it was a great job by him, and obviously, a great job with the guys executing it. Thanks. Just piggybacking on that, uh, is something like that wasted on a PAT? Would you rather wait for something like that on a, on a on field goal? I'm just asking. No, it's a great. You mean the ROI on it? Yeah. Yeah. You think there's more more ROI on it than just one point? There is. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. But yeah. yeah. There you go. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, you could definitely make a case because because I started laughing when he brought it to me at first. Yeah, yeah. So this is well, this is, uh, but you know, it's there, there's merit to it. So there's merit to it, and that's why we did it. Uh, back on plan for a second. When you said, "Why is this guy not rated higher?" What was the answer you got? But it's you know he's. I just been impressed with him since the day I met him. So, um, like I said, I'm not surprised. So I mean, look at his look at his body type. You know, just the way he plays, super consistent in everything he does. So, does anything remind you of when you had Sam Shields come in as a 
late well, a different path. Play. You know, Sam. You know, obviously Sam played. You know, Sam played receiver and just had you know tremendous amount of ability. But you know, you know, Sam had to make a transition to corner. You know, uh, obviously Duran's you know very natural there. Back. Hey, coach. I know we're running down the injuries a little bit. Any update on Tyron Smith? How he's doing? What's his status for week four, week five? I'm sorry. Yeah, he's, um, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful he'll work, you know, in a, in a limited or with the rehab group Wednesday. So then we'll see how that goes. But he's getting better.